Hey, it's Nat Green here. In this video, I wanna share the reason that you should embrace pain and use fear to your advantage. Pretty powerful stuff, stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Nat Green from natgreenonline.com. A few days later, they upgraded and I made $1,000. All right, so did you know that there are two motivating factors for either doing something or not doing something, okay? And it's either the fear or pain that we associate with doing or not doing those things or the pleasure associated from the result of doing or not doing those things. Now, out of those two, either pain or pleasure, which one do you think is the bigger one? Now, a lot of you probably think that pleasure and experiencing good things as a result of doing or not doing those things is the right answer and you'd be wrong. Pain is the number one biggest reason why we buy things, why we, I guess maybe don't buy things. You know, this is the negative and uh, positive for every situation, but of the two, pain and fear is the bigger motivating factor to do or not do something proven time and time again advertisers spend billions of dollars to use pain and fear and you know trying to solve problems right or you know uh, what we think or what they think our problems are with their products and services right and so here's the thing is when you can use pain and fear to your advantage to get more things done and to accomplish more in your life right so a lot of the times we and, and one thing to understand here is this if we have a situation in front of us, a choice to make, to do something or to get something, a lot of times we're not even consciously thinking of it, okay? It's subconsciously happening just like that and reasons that come up for doing or not doing something happen in our subconscious and they might be completely ridiculous things but that's how our subconscious works, okay? So something happens, a situation comes up, should I get something, should I do something, yes or no, our brain automatically associates something negative or positive with it and in most cases the negative thing wins out. So here's what you can do. Instead of thinking what is the pain or what, what's involved in me doing something or not doing something, okay, and it could be okay there's gonna be a lot of hard work involved, I need to step on toes to, you know, to make things happen, which of course is complete BS. Um, I need to, you know, sacrifice something. Maybe you want to lose weight. And I need to cut out all the foods that I enjoy versus eating the foods, right? So you see pain and pleasure. Instead of thinking about what do I need to do? What's involved in me achieving this? What do I need to put into it? Flip the script and think about the opposite of that. What's gonna to happen to me if I don't do this? What's gonna happen if I don't get this, right? So, you know, you're associating, you're flipping it and you're turning the pain in the opposite direction, right? So let's just say that, um, okay, you know, I wanna shoot a video every day as an example of my marketing. What's gonna happen if I don't shoot a video every day? Well, I'm gonna get less traffic on uh, my videos or my websites possibly. I'm going to uh, not build or I'm not going to build rapport and relationship with people. Um, I'm gonna have less people joining my business or buying my products I'm promoting, whatever the case is. And therefore, I'm gonna make less commissions. I'm, uh, that is going to result in uh, not being able to pay my mortgage on time, which of course uh, is gonna make my girlfriend not very happy. Maybe we're gonna lose our place, we'll be out on the streets. You know, and those are obviously very serious things, right? So we're thinking, okay, well, if I don't do this, then there's a lot of negative consequences there. I better get busy and do it, right? Versus the opposite of that of, okay, I need to shoot a video every day. Well, in order to do that, I gotta go get a video camera. You know, that's gonna cost me money. Oh, well, I need to uh, get uncomfortable and put myself out there and expose my thoughts to the world or whatever, and people are gonna judge me, and that's gonna, you know, right? So you see the two different things here, right? The pain of doing something versus not doing something is huge. And if you were to, let's say, think about 
okay, what would be involved with me to go make $20,000 versus let's say I already have $20,000, but I focus on somebody taking it away from me, right? Do, do you see the, the two different things there? Um, you know, having somebody take something away is like, ooh, I've already got this, so I've already, I already have some pleasure associated with having the money because I can go buy new things or whatever, but somebody coming and stealing it from me, ooh, it's, it's ripping that away, it's, it's tough, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do that, right? So the negative thing is definitely more powerful and when you can embrace fear, the fear of not having something, the fear of not doing something, and the pain that's associated with that, when you can associate the pain or fear with not doing something that you know you need to do, whether, I mean, it could be losing weight, it could be making money, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be telling your spouse that you love them more often, whatever it is. But when you can flip the script and use pain to your advantage to get things done or to do things instead of not doing things, that one little flip will help you get more done, it'll help you achieve more, it'll help you break through, it'll help you achieve more in life, get the things that you want, and so much more. So very powerful, learn to embrace fear, and identify, you know, when, when you realize that, oh, you know, I'm being fearful of something because I know that I have to do something or I'm gonna, you know, get X as a result. Flip the script and say, you know, what, what's it gonna be like if I don't do it? And think about the negative things and use those negative things to drive you into doing the things that you know you need to do. So anyway, powerful lesson there. Watch that a couple of times. It's, I don't know, maybe it's a heavy idea, I don't know. But uh, if you need to watch this video a couple of times to really let that sink in, then do it. But embrace fear, use it to your advantage, and rock and roll because you deserve everything in life. And you can have it if you focus on the fear instead of the focus on the pain of doing it, or sorry, on the pleasure of doing it. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in another video. As always, share this, like this. You know, people can benefit from this information, so please do share. Hope uh, you enjoyed it. We'll see you in another video. Thanks.